you know, we're going to show you a little bit about uh, what our current business analytics online platform looks like on the back end, but know that that is the same platform that we are using uh, as we build the program right now, as we build out the platform, put all the bells and whistles on it now, that is the same program, um, very similar that we will be having next August. So um, Sudeepta, I'm going to turn it over to you uh, for screen sharing and to give us a little bit of a demonstration of what life may be like on the asynchronous platform. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, we all heard from the wonderful faculty here that they bring in multiple years of experience. And so we at, at Georgetown and McDonough, we have developed online programs, um, you know, the MSF program and the MSBA program already. And we provide an engaging platform to the students through the online courses. And so as Shelly mentioned here, uh, generally we have a combination of asynchronous content um, and synchronous session or the live session with the faculty and peers. And so I'll give you a demonstration of the online component of the MSBA uh, program, which is just focused on the asynchronous materials. Okay, so uh, the goal of this demo is to just showcase what student experience is going to be like and how they engage with the asynchronous content here um, with this, uh, this example that I'm going to show you. So let me see, let me share my screen here. Can you all see my screen okay? All right, great. Um, so I'm gonna move into a student view. So as a student, you would log on to Canvas and on, you know, in, in Canvas, you would be able to see your, your courses that you are basically taking. So this is one of the courses that um, I teach in the MSBA program. And this is, um, this, these are all the asynchronous content um, within this particular course. So when you log on, you would see a bunch of uh, different tabs to your left. And then generally each of the, um, the courses are organized very and, and have a very consistent look and feel to them so that, you know, you start to get used to uh, where I can find things mostly. So we start with announcement and then you would see, um, you know, there's a, the homepage that, the, the, uh, that talks about the, the course in particular, and then would have some of the key links that the students are looking for every time you are, you know, going into office hours or if you have a live session, then all the links are provided here um, and follow that with, um, you know, a detailed, um, syllabus that you would see. Uh, one of the things you would notice here is it's it's very clear um, as to when um, the assignments or things are due within the course. So you would see uh, next office hours this week, slides for week six posted, you know, all of these things are right here. Uh, that includes assignment uh, assignments and announcements. And then you would also see the assignment uh, breakdown and coming coming down. One of the things that I wanted to show you in the syllabus is you know, that the, the things, um, uh, uh, you know, that you have to do before the, let's say before an asynchronous session that we were just talking about, right? That, you know, what is this experience going to be like? You know, you have, you would have to get ready for the synchronous, um, synchronous uh, session. So what do you do before session? What do you do after session? So, all, you know, that really provides a very, very detailed look on exactly what the students are supposed to do. And then you would see here at the end, there is a course summary that provides students information on when all of the assignments are due, what type of assignments are there in the program and so on. Um, and so moving forward, uh, everything is organized around the modules here, as you would see, um, you know, these provide information to the students about getting started, your, your different types of resources that are available to them, their study teams and whatnot. And then, you know, each of the weeks are, are um, uh, each of the, of the content per week are actually organized within the, the modules. Um, so, so this is week one materials and I'll, basically kind of walk you a little bit through through this. So as you would see here, you know, we have live sessions and this tells you about when each of the live sessions are, um, you know, and, and um, uh, you know, for example, this particular class has Tuesday evenings. Um, moving moving back to and and actually what you what what you would do as a student is actually go to next right and as you hit next you would actually go to the next page which kind of talks about the course overview um, and you know again here um, the faculty would uh, the instructor is going to provide you more information on what this particular course is going to bring uh, forward for the for the students and similarly 
um, you know, you may have, you may go in and you may see um, guest speaker introductions. So this particular course basically has some guest speakers uh, that came in and that were interviewed, and that is is in uh, is in indicated here. Um, some of the other things you would see in terms of interactivity is student Q&A mode. This is where the students can actually send out their questions to their peers, to the faculty, and then they can discuss with each other. Um, and so this is one of the ways in which they can do that. Um, you would also notice um, there are resources here for the students, you know, so different types of tutorials, um, other kinds of things, and you would see when they are um, do you know week one week two minutes you know so it's it's very very detailed and so um, when we are teaching online what what Dr. Lee, Lee Pinkovitz was telling us is that it made the faculty think about what would make this experience better for the students and and so we are very detailed when we actually teach courses um, and and put in the asynchronous materials there uh, some of the other things that you would experience as a student um, that our, our students experience as student uh, as um, uh, in the asynchronous materials is, you know, before these, these, this week's live session, after this, this week's live session, what you need to do. Um, and then uh, this is a video um, of, uh, you know, of our guest speaker. So we're talking to the guest, uh, uh, you know, the, a Q&A with the guest speaker, and, and he talks about what their views are, for example. Um, um, Similarly, you would go in and um, here's another guest speaker for this particular class. Then we, we would have the project description, um, which the students can, can read. Um, here are the synchronous materials and all the recordings. Um, and then you might have a video, which is, uh, uh, which is taught by the instructor. And so, um, so in this particular video, for example, I'm thinking about sample versus population, right? And so, uh, so this um, basically kind of provides you with a with some understanding of some kind of uh, of uh, of the asynchronous content. But there are other kinds of content as well. For example, um, I you know you went through that video and then there's a comprehension check here in this particular comprehension check. You know you have to answer the question. The students would have to answer the question. This is ungraded, um, but this really like helps with the learning. And so the students can go in and check whether they understood the material or not. Um, so that's really kind of a great way to check student understanding here. And so it allows you to interact with the material. So for example, here's another one where uh, we're trying to check your understanding so you can go in and take a look at what does this represent, right? So um, when we have uh, topics which are a little bit more complicated, you might see uh, that there is, we, we provide a couple, couple of different ways uh, of interacting with the materials as you can see here. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, there could be other types of uh, of interactivity that you would see in the you know in the in the courses, such as this one, uh, where we don't have a video, but we basically kind of talk about different types of of uh, of uh, variables. For example, in this particular case, um, by using the um, you know by by uh, by just providing you with that information, just like reading a book online, right? Um, so, as you can see, there are a variety of different types of materials that you would find, um, you know, that can help with the interactivity of the students. There are lots of comprehension checks, as you would see here. Um, here in this case, for example, in sampling techniques, uh, you know, there's here, um, the students would basically read this and then um, they would select the tabs and look at the advantages and disadvantages. Again, lots of interactivity that you would see with different way, in different ways. Um, in terms of, um, let's see, in terms of um, other types of things, you know, there's a poll right here that the students can, could take, um, you know, and, and it tells, uh, it talks about no time limit, right, and the students can take this particular survey if they would like. Um, there are other types of, um, um, let's see, other types of assignments. For example, here's an assignment. And so, um, the students would, would go in here at the end of this week, and um, this is a graded quiz, and they can start taking the quiz. And so again, this is an online quiz, uh, as um, and, and um, it is timed. Uh, we were just kind of talking about that, right? What type of assessments can you have or evaluations can you have? So in this case, you know, this is a graded quiz, um, and um, there's a due date, then there is a, this is timed. Um, and uh, it basically talks to you about the, the percentage. Uh, and so, you know, here's, um, here's 
what Lee was talking about, we can, you know, we basically provide the application based based questions. And so it really enhances learning uh, much more than if I were to give you an exam and say, uh, tell me what is a median or write the formula for a variance or find the variance in, in this particular example. So this is really, it really has helped us engage with the students better and improve learning. Um, and so um, I am going to, um, stop there and um, I, hopefully this has provided you with some experience in terms of what you're looking at when you would be going into an online um, environment and do the asynchronous materials. So thank you very much. Thank you for, for demoing. I think the takeaway from this is there's a lot of different ways to interact, a lot of different um, variation in the engagement. And this is the asynchronous part, right? The, not, right. This isn't even the synchronous part where you will get to talk one-on-one um, -on -one with your peers in kind of this Zoom Brady Bunch type of an environment. And so um, obviously a lot of care and attention has been put into the development of these classes in a way that makes it engaging to learn um, and easy to access. Like if you want to go back and just click on one section um, that you missed or one topic area, you're able to do so. So Absolutely. thank you for, for doing this. We really appreciate it. Thank you. All right.